What a great idea. I will make it immediately. Hello, YouTubers. My name is Nixvi. You're on the channel for those who love online skating and wants to progress in it. And today we will be talking about the switch from forward to backwards, also called 180 switch. How does it look like? It looks like that. Switch! And that's it. A pretty simple, but rather effective and, let's say, powerful looking move if you are performing it right and don't hit your head. So you should remember one big principle of switchcraft. All the turns and all the switches like that in the inline skating start from the torso, from your upper part of the body. Because in fact your upper butt upper butt because your upper part of the body is usually more heavy than the bottom. So you have your shoulders, your chest with some heavy feelings in it, your perfect six pack and even more perfect belly fat, some fat sides and so on. And that all creates a pretty good mass. And as you know from the school course of physics, mass is the measure of inertia. So to create that proper inertia during skating, we have to move our torso. And before our switch, we have to move our torso in one principal position that is called monoline. We have three principal positions in inline skating. Two of them I've already talked about. Uh, the first one is the basic stance that looks like that. Yes, the second one is the scissor position that looks like that. And the third principal position that we will we'll be using right now is the monoline. And it looks something like that. And the principle of it is that your torso, your shoulders are almost in one line. Yes. So this shoulder is in front and that shoulder is behind. It's called monoline because of the shoulders. Of course, in the perfect world, your feet also should be in one line. But unfortunately, we are not in the perfect world. We are not in the perfect world. The position of the shoulders is enough for our purposes. So the shoulders are in one line. Your torso is turned and also your hips are turned a little bit. You have to learn that position because it will be useful for you in other moves like, for example, backward skating. You know, in backward skating, it's almost always something like a monoline. You can see my shoulders here, yes? Okay. Also, it's pretty useful for some slides like parallel, for example. To have a good parallel, you need to start from some monoline, yes? Once we made that perfect position, monoline position, yes? Don't forget that the feet are on the outer edge of your wheels. You now don't have to make anything difficult. The only thing that you have to do is to, let's say, throw your heels from back to the front, like that. And that's all. The switch is done. So you are rising your heels a little bit, just a few millimeters over the ground. All the weight is on the toes and from that position up it's done pretty easy of course if you are only starting you can try first to make it holding something for example let's see i'm holding the thing i turn to the monoline my shoulders are in one line and rising the heels and going from that to that side pretty easy 
you can start from for example that position and make a for example 90 degree switch yes there is almost no jump on it the same principle is the with the switch from backward to forwards but you are putting all your weight on the heels and just throwing throwing your toes yes so technically that's all as simple as it is monoline checked all the torso and up you are already moving backwards of course before starting that move you have to learn how to roll backwards at least for a few meters otherwise you can hurt yourself let me show it on a pretty big speed we will get some speed put in the monoline Oop. yes nothing difficult once again monoline switch monoline switch monoline switch as easy as it is once you will get pretty confident on doing that from the monoline understand all the technique you can start minimizing that previous preparation or move because of course it's not very good then you are skating like that then making all that moves checking everything and only after that making the switch and the girl that you wanted to impress has already gone away far far away so yeah it should be a pretty short preparational move so I'm moving and up. So I start from the torso and immediately finishing it with the switch. Like that. Don't be afraid to try it. Take all the protection gear that you need. Of course the helmet because with all the backwards moves you have to use the helmet the risk of hurting your back hat is pretty high and hitting back hat sucks so that's all for today wait for other tutorials and by the way i just created my account on Boosty. And this is probably the only way how I can get a few bucks from my videos. So if you want to support me, please subscribe. And also, all my future tutorials will come out on Wusti a little bit earlier than on YouTube. So don't miss the opportunity to be the first. Click the subscribe button, I think. Like or dislike, I don't know. And see you next time bye bye Switch, switch, bitch. Another one on the asphalt. And another one. 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 You know how to jump. Now you don't know how to jump. You know how to turn. No, you don't know how to turn. You know how to turn. No, you don't know how to turn. Can't touch this.